Hi everyone, welcome back to LJW Reactions. It's me, Victoria. And today I'm back with a video, a South Park reaction. And this is going to be on Jimmy. Um, Jimmy is quite a funny character. and But sometimes, do you know, sometimes I feel conflicted. Some of the times I don't necessarily find what he says funny. I find his delivery funny. But then I'm conflicted because, you know, he obviously has some sort of disability. So I, I never really quite know if I should laugh or, like, I don't know. It's like the funny moment is sort of dampened because I'm, I'm conflicted as to whether or not it's appropriate to laugh. But anyway, let's watch this video. Let me know your thoughts on what I just said. And let's just crack on. You just start a club and tell me I can't be in it? Sorry, able body, you can't do it. <laughs> can't do! Hey, Timmy, how many able body people does it take to screw in a light bulb? What? <laughs> <laughs> You know what you call an able-bodied guy on the doorstep? Whatever his name is. <laughs> That's not funny. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Jim Swanson, and this is my friend, Timmy. Timmy! Well, let us tell you a little bit about ourselves. Timmy and I are both true Crips, born and raised. We're the only Crips in South Park where we live, and we would love to join your fa fa fantastic Denver chapter. So you're saying you're down? Down like a clown, Charlie Bur Down like a clown, Charlie Bur <laughs> Down like a cloud, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Down like a cloud, Charlie Brown. You can check the freezer. There might be some frozen fish sticks or something. I will say, what I do like about Jimmy is that he's so articulate. Like, um, obviously his delivery, yes, is a play on his disability. That's the funny part of it. But actually, if you strip that apart, he's really well articulate and he's able to just convey what he wants to communicate, which I always like in characters. So, yeah. If you like fish sticks. Yeah. Also, I remember when I was a, quite young and I watched the South Park episode about fish sticks. I never understood it. I still don't understand the why fish sticks were so funny. This is why sometimes I find South Park funny and a lot of times I just don't think it's that funny because I think the jokes go over my head. I still didn't look into it. This is the Kanye fish stick episode. So I don't... Someone give me a breakdown as to why everyone thought it was funny because I, I really didn't get it and I still don't get it. I like fish sticks. Wait a minute. Fish sticks. Fish sticks. Oh my god, it's so obvious. How did I never think of it before? What, did you guys have then? Is All that right, what? Just run with me on this, Eric. Say, Eric, do you like fish sticks? Yeah. You like putting fish sticks in your mouth? Yeah. Well, what are you, Eric? A gay fish? Oh. Fish sticks. Oh, dude, that's funny as shit. I'm sure you're feeling confused and a little. Okay, this is so ironic because I really didn't know that was going to be there. But I guess it explains it. But it's so silly. It's so silly. Uh, is that why people are cracking up? Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Unsure of yourself? I'm not confused at all, actually. BC principal. Okay, well, no, you are confused. I'm pretty sure you're the one that's confused, but go ahead. Because you don't grasp the severity of this. Nathan, could you tell Jimmy how you feel when people use the word retarded? It hurts my feelings because I feel bad. Are you serious right now? Pretty heavy, huh, Jim? <laughs> Do you want to ask him what he means by that, or are you just pandering because you're uncomfortable around disabled people? Hey, wi hey, Wendy. Yeah? Stan says you're a cunt. You're a oh. cunt. Stan says you're a cunt. <laughs> cunt. Well, tell Stan to cunt. Stop. You're a continuing source of inspiration to him. <clears throat> well, Jimmy, go ahead. Try and make that funny. You can't. Sure you can. What do Clyde's mom and a 15-year-old girl's aborted fetus have in common? They both died screaming in a toilet. Whoa. None of us have ever had any drugs before. Well, I did ecstasy once. Me and my girlfriend took it, and we stayed up all night having sex. Where did you have sex with her? In her v vagina. Thank you, thank you. What a terrific audience. Oh boy, here it comes. Here it comes. Tardy Kaka, she's a candy kid to wiggle. She's 
sure to make you giggle. Too bad. With a naughty little wiggle and a shunder. I'm gonna try to make that tardy cock a jolly man. Jolly man. Cause all the while I'm dreaming of her. My tardy cock a hooligan. Oh, sorry, that's not right. Hang on. Nathan, your team put up an amazing fight. And even though I was crowned king of Cripple Camp, I want you to know that you were the real ch ch champ. I'm to warm up the crowd. There once was a maiden from St 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 from St 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 Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw boy did she sw swallow. I had a nice man that she said that she said said of her the maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom. Wow, what is with the Gordian? When I was born, my parents knew I was different. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Balmer. Your newborn son will never be able to walk. But he will be extremely good at comedy. <laughs> wow, what a terrific audience. <laughs> As I got older, my powers only increased. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? <laughs> Nacho cheese. Oh, that's a good one. And now I look for others like me to fight crime as part of a superhero team. I am Fast, fast Pass. I joined this franchise because I believe that it can make a lot of money. And being a superhero means you keep believing in that money no matter how hard things get. Fast Pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on Fast, fast Pass to get there. Oh my god, it's Nathan! Butthole, did you see anything in that cabin? Any clues to what's going on here? Nope. Butthole doesn't know anything. You're too late, nah, Come here! All I have to do is get rid of the last counselor, and the authorities will shut down the camp. No more canoe races, marshmallows, and unisex showers. My nightmare will finally be over. Oh no! Nathan's been possessed by evil spirits using him to shut down the camp. We have to stop him. <laughs> Wait, is this, a is this an actual video game or an episode? Where are the other counselors? Are they okay? They all died brutal and tragic deaths. But as long as you're alive, we can still save the camp this summer. Hooray! And that's all for Super School News. Enjoy your day at South Park Elementary. What social advancements? They've actually evolved to the point of doing the Hokey Pokey. The Hokey Pokey? You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Boys, this might be the single greatest special ed science fair project I've ever seen. Jeez, what's the deal with these Mexicans, huh? I mean, they have fabulous food, their country has amazing beaches, and they're really fantastic people. Wow, what a great audience. You know, today I was on the subway and I saw an ad for the Center for People Who Identify as Homosexual But Were Born Bi. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I'll tell you one thing. Those people are brave and deserve every ounce of our respect. Hey, everybody, wow. he's on. What a fantastic audience. Wow. What is up with these bisexual Canadians, huh? I guess they don't know whether to fuck their brother or their sister. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's um, and that's it, folks. That's it. Um, like I said, actually, do you know what? Jimmy's com oops, Jimmy's comedy isn't like um. I understand why it's funny, and you know he has like some bits in there that are actually funny, um. But I like that his words. So, yeah, I I don't know if that was like a flash forward into the the South Park future, but if he did become like a. I don't know, a presenter of some sort, slash comedian, slash, you know, like the Jimmy Kimmel show. I, it would make sense. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was, had some funny bits, but let me know your thoughts on what I said at the start of the video. I'm curious to know if I'm the only one who feels like this. I know it's not on, on like a wannabe woke PC. It's not something I'm forcing. It's, it's like mixed feelings around stuff like this. But also my style of comedy and what I find funny isn't, necessarily that if that makes sense um i find storytelling quite funny and the delivery uh, you know of the stories if you go back to some of the videos i reacted to before 
Um, I like the Bill Burrs, not because of what they, because they're trying to be funny, but their execution is funny, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.